Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Lombardi, uh, according to your testimony, the Air Force views experiments as campaigns of activities rather than one-off events and focused on specific missions such as close air support and air superiority rather than specific programs of record. In most cases, if experiments are not directly tied to programs of record, my question is, uh, how are they funded? <clears throat> and as an example, how are you funding the close air support experimentation campaign? Yes, sir. Um, in my statement, what I was really referring to was, was our process on, on developmental planning. And so as I've mentioned before, developmental planning uh, is really kind of a team sport where you have the requirements, the, uh, the user, the s and community, and the acquisition community coming together before we even know that there's going to be a material solution. So therefore, uh, we don't even, we're not even sure that there's going to be a need for a program of record. What we're really trying to do is understand what is the, what's the user's need and where are the, what are the best ways to be able to approach that. It may be uh, continuing to invest in some areas of s and it's, it's starting to do some prototyping. It may be that it's, that it's just simply a, a uh, con ops change on some technology that's already a, available. And so, so can you can you help me understand uh, how, where does the funding come from? The, the funding is really in our, in our six four line then, and, and it's it's what we have a line that that talks about uh, technology transfer, and so therefore it's not necessarily tied specifically to a program of record yet. Okay. But it's but it's an area where we continue to do our our working to to determine whether we do need to be, whether we need a material solution or not. Okay, that's that's good. Um, uh, I want to talk specifically about one particular uh, experimentation that's been going on as it relates to space, and that is the Joint Interagency Combined Space Operations Center, which, uh, of course, was stood up uh, with, with General Hyten and Doug Lavero, and, of course, you know, Deputy Secretary Work was his, his brainchild. Uh, and, I, and I think um, what's happening there is critically important for our country. The, uh, the idea that we can fuse all of these different sensors from the DOD to commercial industry, to combined from our joint and coalition partners, as as and 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 other sources, the intelligence community, for example, getting all this information into into one area, uh, and then and then experimenting to determine, you know, what are the threats that we face, uh, how do we attribute those threats, how do we uh, ultimately combat those threats? Um, could you share with this committee, uh, you know, as far as the JICSPOC goes, um, how those experiments, uh, how important are those experiments, and, and maybe not exactly what you've learned, but how important is it that, that we continue doing that? Uh, I think it's greatly important. Again, I, I think as, as you characterized it, sir, is, is that both the DOD and the intel community recognize a need to, to have to work together to be able to share uh, important information across the national security space in, uh, enterprise. And so by virtue of bringing the, the, the right players together, we are actually doing this experimentation, as, as you mentioned, that, that began this past October and is, I believe, going to be completing in the, in the May time frame. And so at least that's the, the first phase of it. And, and from that, then General Hyten uh, uh, and also U.S. STRATCOM, all will come together to kind of take a look and see what have we learned from this. But this, the initial phases has really been to, to try and, and understand how the interrelationships would be and how they're moving forward. And so uh, as we move forward with this, I know this is an area of interest for you, is as we get to a point where we have uh, good information to be able to come forward, I think we would be uh, very, it would be very helpful for us to come see you and be able to provide you uh, an insight on where Great. we're at. The, the, the transition from what we learn in these experiments, and we need to understand kind of what comes out of those experiments, learning from that, and then transitioning to an operational capability, which of course, in many cases, is gonna require funding uh, that we're gonna have to advocate for. I mean, that's, that's critically important. Uh, I've got about 31 seconds left. I wanna emphasize um, that I would like to see the JICSPOC uh, in the president's budget request. I don't know if you can help with that, but. Uh, those kind of uh, activities in there would be good. Finally, I've got 18 seconds left. We're, uh, the, the DMSP-20, uh, which we heard Chairman Rogers talk about, it's a big challenge. Would you be open to, for, for uh, military weather purposes, purchasing data from commercial industry rather than 
purchasing $500 million satellites that ultimately sometimes end up be being destroyed? I think as we've looked at things in, in the past, we have used uh, both civil and our international partners to be able to gather information with respect to, to uh, weather information and so forth. And so uh, we will be continue to look at all aspects with respect to how we can provide capability to, to our nation with respect to these areas. Thank you, Chairman.